Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear me because of all the waves, so let me try to speak up. Um, you know, after you travel the world a few times, you start to get the sense that maybe you have seen it all. Um, but let me tell you, you know, this is similar to Mexico in the sense that it's, it's a temperate climate, so you can go in into the water. The thing is, when I was in Mexico, the water was either quite calm or too rough. So I wasn't able to actually go all the way in the water. When I say all the way, I'm talking about, I'm guessing, well, maybe about 400 meters, okay? So over here, for the first time, I was able to go in and just let the waves carry me. Because the waves are not, they're not too high and they exist. They're not, you know, non-existent. What I realized, first, first, first thing, is that the, when you talk about waves, for the most part, the crashing waves are only on the shoreline. And so those are pretty, you know, pretty rough. You know, if they, if they happen to hit you right below the waistline, uh, you know, you're not going to have a fun time. Uh, that, that was a new experience for me, right? And <laughs> now, um, the thing is, you get the sense that you, said you want to avoid that discomfort of being hit by the waves. So you keep going in. Instinctively, you keep going all the way in. And the thing is, once you're past about 400 meters in, or maybe 250 meters in, you're not getting the result, the end result of the wave. You're just being carried by the water. And the water, you realize very quickly, is in control, not you. In, in the vast ocean, that's, that's, that's a fact of life. And the thing is, when you're all the way down there, you know, you get, you get this, you get lulled into a sense of complacency. And, you know, I got in far enough where I got scared because I realized that I looked back and somehow I was farther away from the coastline than I thought. And I hadn't, and then I, I swam a little bit. I'm talking about maybe I swam for about 15 seconds. So here's the problem. You're not in control of where you're going. The, the ocean is too strong. And so, you know, I, I'm, I'm out there and I start to swim back and I keep swimming for about a minute, not maybe 30, let's say 30 seconds. And I'm still where I am. I feel like I haven't moved an inch. Because really, if you're so, if you're stuck out there in the ocean, what you want to do is maybe not swim, but time, time your movements for swimming with the waves, with the movement of the waves. So, because otherwise, you're just you're not, not going to go anywhere. And so, um, I got scared pretty quickly when I realized that, you know, if I, <laughs> well, <laughs> when I realized that I, I wasn't going anywhere, then I thought, all right, well, this is so beautiful. Once you're in there, you get this, you know, you can see why everyone is doing this, right? In Hawaii and everywhere else, just because it's such a beautiful experience. And again, this is my first time having this experience, but it was a scary one because again, once you get past the quote, quote unquote difficult part, what looks like the difficult part is not the difficult part. That's the easy part, being hit by the waves and getting this sort of, sort of jolt back, that's nothing. When you go all the way in, well, you're still in control down here because your feet are on the ground. By the time you go all the way in, about 500, 400, 500 meters in, um, you just have to make sure you can get back. And I don't recommend it. I was only in there for maybe five, 10 minutes and, and I'm a fairly athletic guy and I can barely move my shoulders at this point. Um, I'm, all, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. And again, we're talking about three to five minutes of um, being in there, and not even not even a kilometer in there. So you think you heard about these people, the Olympic swimmers who are swimming across the ocean? And let me tell you, um, that's that's remarkable. Um, I know again, they're probably just timing it, right? It's all about the timing, making sure you're swimming with the current. Because there's no way that you can swim against it. It's just not possible. Um, so a lot of it, really, when you hear about these, you know, ocean swimmers. You're dealing with a meter, sort of a team of weathermen or weather, weather people who are able to, you know, use the technology to figure out where exactly you can swim so that you're swimming with the current. Because even out here, uh, there's just no way. I mean, I'm in five minutes and I'm just, you know, I'm just dumb for the day. So anyway, there's an experience for you, right?